I got thrown off for the first time. And my head landed right on that rock. She puked right afterwards. So do we need to take you to the hospital or what is that? And I saw somebody coming in mirror, mirror to mirror way fast. He came up on me and he finally saw, but it was it was too late at that point. He's got a crazy shaped mole on his head that's not good. Melanoma maybe? It could be. And I'm very scared. Canyon is in a breakout room right now, and so that means that okay. the teacher put in a couple kids in different rooms, and so they're trying to answer questions, just the kids, and Canyon like really loves it because it's like playtime outside of class, but he's like still interacting with other kids, so he really likes the breakout room. Okay, I'm going. This is the side of Sunnets that we just groomed through. She's all this nice red. She still has a few patches and she's super dirty, so I'm debating on if I want to like give her a bath. Not today, because I don't have shampoo for it, but she's got a nice red coat coming in. And then this is the other side, okay? You gotta brush through all of this, because look, it's all detached already. It just needs to be brushed through. So we'll do this side now. Alright, I brushed her for a minute and this side is a lot more stubborn than the other side for some reason. I think it's because she rolls around on this side so it's already mostly gone. But I'll give it a few more days and she'll be good. But I've already been out here for an hour, hour and a half, just brushing her. So I'm gonna ride her before it gets too hot outside, which is pretty it's pretty nice outside right now. So it's a good day to ride her anyway, because it's cooler and the wind's kind of blowing. So we will ride for a little bit and then maybe I'll brush her down and get more done. But I'm trying to get done with that winter coat before it gets way too hot out here. Cause it's getting there. Already. Already. So we're done riding today. <laughs> Fun story. I got thrown off for the first time. We don't know what the deal was. Probably just was mad that it was hot outside, but we were riding and she started getting antsy and she threw me off, which I stayed on for like a solid 15 seconds, just saying. And then I got thrown off and the place that I landed in had soft dirt. So it wasn't like as bad as it could have been. I'm trying to think of how it happened. I don't even remember. I don't know. When I hit the ground, I knew I hit the ground and so I rolled out of the rail way really fast so I wouldn't get trampled and I would have gotten trampled. Right where I landed, there's a door that can open right there. And there's a rock that's there to hold the door open when the door gets open. And my head landed right on that rock. So I don't even know where my head is sore at, kind of everywhere. And could have a solid concussion, I don't know. I've had a concussion before, but I don't know. So I'm going to go get gas and then go home and then I'll figure out what else I'm gonna do today. I am gonna mark full of my family though and let them know that I'm going to get gas and what happened. So I'm home, but I did throw up in the gas station garbage can. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> was there a lady who was like watching me? <laughs> and you know how the slot's like, it's like a square slot I had to like, go sideways and try not to touch it so it's like projectile vomiting <laughs> it was it was funny <sighs> it was funny i told danielle she couldn't sleep until nighttime tonight because if she has a concussion she's not supposed to sleep for like 12 hours or whatever so her phone has been her best friend today i think it's her best friend every day but i think usually it it like fights between nap and phone so how do you feel? Um, tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. You can't go to sleep. How's your head? It hurts. Yeah? Some headache? <laughs> and I landed on my knee and so it's bruised. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> it's swollen. 
Seriously? <laughs> I think my elbows are bruised too. I don't know how. But... Why do you just laugh? I didn't catch it. <laughs> it's funny. And you threw up in the garbage can at the yeah. gas station. Yeah. What, you were just putting in gas and all of a sudden you're like, ooh? No, I got out of my car as soon as I stood up. It was like, eh. Peek right in the garbage can. My esophagus has been very irritated today. Every time I eat something, it feels like it's getting stuck. It feels like I can feel it go all the way down. It's just so ir irritated. And so it took me like, I think it took me an hour to eat my lunch or my lunch today. Just eating very slow and making sure it goes all the way down before I take another bite. Um, this morning, I was so tired. I don't know. I don't know why I was so tired this morning, but I went back to sleep after exercising. And so I woke up Canyon at 8.45, and that's right when his, his bonus fun class started. And so I went in and I told him, I'm like, hey bud, your class starts right now. Do you want to get into it? And he's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm sorry. Sorry that I woke you up late for it. And he's all, it's okay, mom. You were puking yesterday. <laughs> so. Oh, funny guy. But yeah, I like my esophagus doesn't hurt unless I'm eating and then it feels like it's gonna get clogged all the time. The only bad thing is I know people who have the same problem and they've gone to a specialist before and they go in and stretch it, but then it eventually just goes right back. So is it worth having the doctor stick stuff down my throat to stretch it just for it to go back? I say no. Johnny says yes. What do you say, concussion girl? You weren't even listening. <laughs> That's what, as soon as I asked her, I'm like, she wasn't listening to a word I said. <laughs> My heart is actually racing quite a bit right now. This hitch right here is big. And if a car were to hit that thing, it would rip that thing to shreds. Well, I looked in my rear view mirror a minute ago as I was driving down the road and we stopped at a light and I saw somebody coming in rear view mirror way fast. And he was looking in here's rear view mirror, fixing his hair. He had like a fluffy afro thing. And I was like, dude's not gonna stop, he's not gonna stop. I'm like, oh no, what do I do? So he came up on me and he finally saw, but it was it was too late at that point. I heard he just gunned it and went around the car in front of me to the right. Fortunately, there was nobody else there. And he stopped just as he came right near. I, I could see his face, he was so scared. You could tell right all the way. He was like, oh man, what an idiot. What am I doing, I need to pay attention. I mean, no harm, no foul, but I was like, man, you gotta pay attention. You're good. like, that's how accidents happen. It's not paying attention. Anyway. As you can see here, we have uh, more happening at the construction zone. The wall is being taken down so we can put a door in there. And the uh, backyard portion, um, the concrete portion of the backyard, it's not exactly the way it's supposed to be. So something happened um, with communication with these guys and so we're gonna have to figure out what to do next. So ongoing saga at the construction zone. Okay, Danielle, tell him. Did you get hurt? She's got a concussion. What do you mean? How do you know? She puked right afterwards. Where? At the gas station. Why is that funny? <laughs> That's what I keep asking her. Why do you keep laughing about it? Okay, stop. That's, let's not talk about how funny it is. Let's talk about the seriousness of it. So you threw up at the gas station? Yeah. So where did you hit your head? On the rock. Where though? On your head? She doesn't remember. She doesn't remember if she vlogged about it. She doesn't remember if she puked. I heard vlogging about it. <laughs> no, I asked if you vlogged about puking, you're like, I don't remember. So do we need to take you to the hospital or no, what needs to happen? She's, I, she can't sleep. I told her, she was upset that I told her she couldn't go to sleep till bedtime. No. I remember, I was It's not a the... laughing matter, that's for sure. What are you guys doing? Yoga. Breathing like this. I found the best thing at Costco and I never even knew that it was gonna be the best thing, but it is. I got this strainer that extends, so I can just sit in the sink like this, and I'm not like, whoa, like wiggling, trying to fit all these noodles in my little tiny baby strainer. Okay, it's a little bit bigger than that, but. <laughs> pretty handy. Actually. It's like so sturdy, look at that. It doesn't move when you put all the noodles in, and then you can put them back in, and. It's amazing. Why didn't anyone ever tell me that an extendable strainer was something I needed in my life? Do you, see, well, do you have it in my Snapchat? Uh-uh. Well, I puked in the gas station parking. Well, yes, you got a I know, right? <laughs> a garbage can. 
Why are you? Why didn't you just call instead of Marco Polo? First of all, my, just... I would have been like, hmm, I almost died. I should probably call my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? And so she hasn't been able to take a nap today, and she's like, Yeah, you can't. I know, that's what I told her. She didn't believe me. Okay, do you guys want to watch something? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we need to clean up the main room in there. Okay. So let's go clean it up and then we can get our pajamas on and then we Wait. can watch. All right, we're done cleaning. It's all clean. And now go get your pajamas out everybody. Ready, set, go. All right, now we're gonna watch. Yeah. Ba -da -da. We are going to take Mara's maternity pictures right now, and she needed a necklace, and so I gave her my family heirloom, the one that I made at the gem studio, that looks like a family heirloom, because I do have a real family heirloom. It was my grandma's, it was the diamond from my grandma's engagement ring, but she was worried about losing it. And she's wearing silver, and that one was gold, so she looks amazing. The sunlight is so perfect for the, for the pictures right now. Look at their colors, how well they're standing out with this red rock behind them. It's amazing. They're gonna go up into this green area up here and have the green along with her bluish green dress. Uh, it's more blue, aqua, I guess, and uh, get some really cool shots. We asked Brock and Kate to come and help us today. We were able to, to uh, recently get some really nice uh, camera gear for filming, but this camera gear also is really good for taking pictures, and so that's what they're using right now. And um, I'm thinking they can get some really killer shots with it. <laughs> this is way cool. This is I almost want to give you a kiss in here, maybe. Yeah, do I'm that. Okay. I do. <laughs> Should we get behind Brock? <laughs> okay, we gotta hide. We gotta hide. We have to hide. Okay, we can't see that shot. You might have to jump over to our Instagram to see that shot. It's gonna turn out so good. These pictures are gonna be amazing. Mm. I think they chose the perfect outfits for it too. Yeah, it's so pretty. And the, the wind blowing just right, it's awesome. I'm just sitting here looking at how amazing Johnny is and I realized he's got a crazy shaped mole on his head that's not good. Look at that, that is not uniform and that's not okay. Is it dark? It's dark in the middle and light on the outside but it's, it's not uniform. Oh, melanoma, maybe? It could be. We gotta get you to the doctor. Like for real. Yeah, sometime, huh? You have to go to the doctor for your esophagus problem if I go to the doctor for this. Ah! Uh, no! Does anyone want ice cream? Yeah! Wow, that's fast. Whoa. Okay, get your shoes on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You're so bouncy. I don't know if you need any ice cream. <laughs> gonna... I am taking my vitamins and I'm very scared. Actually, I've taken all but two, but I'm still scared. And Danielle is sleeping right there because I talked to my dad and told her all the thing, told him all the things about her, and he said that once she goes to sleep, I need to wake her up every hour for three hours to make sure that she's okay. So I told her to tell me when she falls asleep so I can wake her up again, but she said she won't do that. I don't know. I'm just hoping that these make it all down. That one is the one. You need to make sure you swish it around your mouth so it doesn't get stick to anything. I did actually leave the slipperiest one for last, so hopefully it will slide back down. Well, I, make sure this is all down first before you do. I can't know. Um, I did make boiling water that I'll drink after this. Hopefully that's the end of it. So, the boys are going to bed right now, and they were fighting over which book they were reading. And we did a a number of games and Giga won, right? Yeah. So you want to listen to your book, but Az is not happy about that. So I'm being nice and letting Az listen to his book tonight. Oh, dude, you're so sweet. What do you say to him? Thank you. 
We love you guys so much as always. You, you are worth it. Bye, bye guys. guys. Bumpalum. Bye.